Hey, welcome to today's episode of Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. I'm Allie Bierman here to demystify your world for you. Before we get started, I want to remind you to listen to the whole show because there's a very special offer for you at the end. Take advantage of it. Now, if you know me, you know I am definitely all about just taking action, being spontaneous. And I haven't been around any place for a couple of weeks because this horrible, horrible thing happened in my home that happens every winter when the heat goes on. And we had such a long winter. It was so bad for so long. I was absolutely not able to function for days. So I haven't been around anywhere. And I decided I have a voice today and um, trusting my voice is going to continue to be here today. So I'm jumping on because I just got to talk to you about what you don't know that you don't know about relationships and why the world is such a mess and why relationships are everything in life and why they exist for us. And having an odd concept of what relationships are about, that's what messes people up. It's what messes up your life. It's what causes all the strife and the wars and the greediness in the world. So, I wanted to get some, I was, uh, songs have been coming to me and coming to me and coming to me. And what's normal for me, what always was normal for me, was writing a song in the spur of the moment. You could give me any topic and just like that, I had a song. You could give me a grocery list and I had a song. Actually, that's what I do with my grocery list. <laughs> always have, it just makes it easier to remember, right? Then if I just write them down. So what I really want to talk with you about the, today, because bits and pieces of the song were coming, but not the whole thing came out. So when I pulled out my guitar, it's like, oh dear, I haven't played guitar. It's been a while since I've been having this health struggle. So I didn't sound very good. So I put the guitar away. I don't want to hurt your ears or hurt your heart, right? But I do want to get this information out to you. See, people talk about it takes a village to raise a child. And it does, but it's how you're creating that village that matters, that makes the difference. The thing to remember is and you hear this from me all the time, and it's not just me, it's every place, right? You're not your body, and you're not your mind. The mind, the thing right now that's yakking at you, that's your ego mind. It serves to keep you stuck in life because that way it can control you. And because it's afraid, you want to kill it off. That's why it keeps chattering. So I call it the commentator. And you know what the commentator is? It's what's listening to me right now. It's what's yapping at you right now and telling you, okay, let's go someplace else. We're not listening to this because this is garbage. That's your ego mind trying to pull you away from the truth. Let me say that again. That's not who you are. That's what wants to keep you secret. That's what, sorry, that's what wants to keep you separate. It needs to keep you separate because the truth is there's only one energy. We're all connected. And that one energy forms whatever you call God or spirit. There isn't a God outside of you. There's only one energy all of you, all of me, the tree, I'm looking outside, squirrel that keeps climbing the tree and figuring out what branch will let it land on the bird feeder. Everything out there, the 
grass is finally coming in green because the snow is finally gone. It's all one energy. And it's not just here, it's everywhere. It's out beyond the Milky Way. It's in the billions of stars and galaxies everywhere. It's one single energy. So what happens when this mind is trying to make you feel you're separate? That you're separate, that there's no me and you because there isn't a me and a you. It's pushing you out to try and get you to form a relationship. It's telling you, you need to complete yourself. Well, you can't complete yourself because you're already complete. You don't need anyone or anything else to complete you. Now, why am I saying that relationships make all the difference in the world? Okay, so for more than 25 years and all the people with whom I've worked, the truth shows 100% of the time and it's the reason the universe has gifted me with the program I'm creating now that I will be offering the relationships. That's how you learn. That's how you grow by the interactions with other people. The thing is, most of those interactions, they're out of your awareness. 95% of them are out of your awareness and that's why you wind up stuck and that's why you wind up trying to create relationships in ways that can't possibly benefit you or the other person. So look in the big picture of life. You are here to serve the greater good of everyone, not just you, each and every one of us comes here with that task, with that mission. And we each have a gift unique to us. There's one thing in the world you do better than anybody else can do it. There's one thing in the world I can do better than anybody else can do it. You know, for some people, that thing might be smiling with a smile that brightens a whole room. It might be having wisdom and clarity and instantly seeing a picture to know where to go to support somebody and what they need and in how they need it. Or it might be seeing only the bigger picture and what's coming down the road. There are infinitely many missions. That's why there are so many people here. And remember, that's the life. This is the life you're in right now. But it's not who you are. It's who you are in the moment. However, when you leave this body and you transition to another dimension before you come back here or to a different planet or a different solar system, then you continue on. Because the fact is you were never born. I was never born. We never die. We just continue from one experience to the next, serving our missions. And when we live in the reality that we're all connected, we can serve one another. Step back a moment and think about it. You know, actually that little chattering thing going on in your head right now, I call it the commentator because you're not listening to me. It's that little voice in your head that saying, little voice, if she has a little voice, I'm out of here. That's the little voice. That's your ego mind. That's what's feeding you constantly, giving you opinions, telling you whether or not you agree with what's being said. Whether or not it makes sense. Oh, I agree with this piece. Oh, I agree with that piece. Oh and carries your mind off 
Oh, I could be making dinner right now. Oh, did I remember to turn the stove off before I sat down here? All those kinds of things as a commentator, keeping you from discovering the reality that you're here to serve and fulfill your mission by making the most of who you can be, of who you are in the world in every moment. Now, when you think you're here because you need somebody to complete you and you're in the, let's call it the honeymoon phase in a relationship. Oh, and you think that you're attracted to somebody because you have the same interests. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good one. That'll keep you going for a few months. And if you're lucky, many months but that's not what attracts you to another person when you're looking to get into a relationship your mind that's not doing the attracting your energy is though your energy and the holes and the wounds in your energy you're looking for somebody to fill the holes you're looking for somebody to fill in the wounds. So that's why you'll find somebody and you feel an instant connection because your energy is meshing. Your energy is connecting, but it's not the energy that creates a loving, long lasting relationship, not even close. That's why people get divorced so quickly or that's why people get married and after a few years they realize they can't stick it out anymore and then they separate or they get divorced so what's happening in the relationships you got relationship disconnects going on and they're filling your whole life history and if you're working with me, we can go back to when you're in the womb because that's when the hurts start. But it isn't in your awareness. You can go and do talk therapy for years. And I've seen people in therapy for seven years, for 10 years. It's like, seriously? Your therapist had put on a new addition on your house or bought a really nice boat for going out on the weekends. Come on. If you haven't made a change within three months, you're not ready to change. You don't want to change. So stop telling everybody, I'm ready now. It's going to happen this time because it's not. And that's okay. If you want to stay stuck, that's okay. But stop throwing your money away and stop wasting your time. So you might recognize I have an issue with somebody who says, join my program and we'll work together for a year because change happens instantly. But change happens when you're working out of your awareness. It can't happen when you're going in with your conscious mind and saying, this is where I want to work. This is the issue. I don't know how many times I've worked because I'm bypassing all of that with someone who will suddenly break out in tears and say, I spent so much time. I did so many programs. I was so done with this. Only they weren't done. And that's why the tears happen. And there are lots of reasons why they weren't done but we're led to believe they were done working from your conscious mind. And there are lots of things in the way I work that make sure that the work we do is going to hold. Because you know what happens when you do work with somebody? Your mind is going to tell you to change back. And your family and maybe even your so-called friends are going to tell you they want you to change back because they know how to be with you in relationship the way you are. And if you're different, well, they have to change. 
to accommodate your differentness, but they don't want to change. That's why people leave your life once you make the changes. So what happens when you actually realize you're not your body, you're not your mind, and you go directly to your subconscious mind to the whole history of disconnects? What kind of disconnects? Disconnect between who you think you are and who you really are. That's the primary one I see. And more often than not, that disconnect is happening between who you think you are and your spiritual, your spirit reality. The next one that happens is your disconnect between you and a higher power. I don't care if you call it God or you call it trees or grass. There's some infinite intelligence that is orchestrating everything so that when everything works perfectly and we say that was synchronicity, it's because of this infinite intelligence that set up the synchronistic events for us. So not being connected that way, you might get that way through a meditation. You might get that way through, I do Qigong every day. You might get that way through just being in nature, go for a walk, sit on the ground, whatever works for you that lets you feel connected to this oneness, to this one energy. The third kind of relationship disconnect, which most people go looking for help thinking, this is it. It's between me and my partner. <laughs> That's the third type of disconnect that happens. And it's not the priority. That's the other thing when I work with you. We set the priority because you know what happens when you clear a priority? You've heard that neurons that fire together, wire together. When what you're clearing is a priority and I know how to talk to your spirit so we get the priority. All these other things that wire together with a priority, they just fall away and it's instant. It's always instant. And if you're working with me, because I know how to make sure it stays in your reality, is forever. And there are programs, I literally program these programs into your, I don't know if DNA is the right word, but they're programmed into your functioning. So they don't go away, they don't disappear, they don't vanish. So when you clear issues that have been going on, and here's the other deal, often people go looking for, ah, oh, that's the incident I've been looking for all my life because that's what caused me to have all these disconnects in life. Well, not so. That's not true either. There's not one thing. I have yet to see any one theme be a unique theme when I'm clearing something, when I'm clearing a disconnect in somebody. It will cross many themes. It will cross glands, organs, chakras, nerves, meridians, energy bodies. Oh, um, yeah, that's, I think I pretty much got it all there. Nothing's localized in one place to one incident. Nothing. More than 25 years I've been at this. Never, ever, ever have I seen anyone who says, oh, that's it. That's the one. It's never one alone. So what's happening when you're in the world and you're seeing yourself as separate 
if you're seeing me over here and you over there, you are listening to your ego mind and you're not being in the reality that all is one. The ego mind cannot allow for the concept there's only one energy and we're all connected and we all together serve one another. It can't. It can't exist because it's lost control over you. So if you think you're actually still listening to me and not that commentator right now, that's incredible. Congratulations and welcome. Let me tell you one way it first became, well, it didn't first become, but one very vivid experience, a vivid experience I had those many years ago. And I was riding a bus in New York City at rush hour on a hot summer day. And at rush hour on a hot summer day, and if you've ever been on a bus in New York City, they don't move real fast and they don't move real far. And it doesn't matter if there's air conditioning on because they stop so often and people get off. And the two doors open, one in the front, one in the back. And out goes, well, the cool air. And cool air's not coming in. So you got the picture. I'm on a crowded bus, rush hour, hot, sweaty people. Now, I'm super grateful that I can ask the universe to temporarily shut off my sense of smell. <laughs> I have a really keen sense of smell. And some, like if I work on a smoker, if you're a smoker, ew, you're pretty stinky. It's coming out of all the pores of your body. And the only way I can get near a smoker to work on them is by turning my sense of smell off temporarily. So I'm on the bus and I'm not experiencing anything smelly that's making me feel less than fantastic. And the bus is really crowded because, like I said, it's rush hour. And I'm sitting there and you know, I'm hot too. <laughs> I am even. And I'm smiling. Why do you think I'm smiling? Anybody want to venture, I guess? Why be smiling? Sitting on a crowded bus of sweaty people in rush hour traffic in the summer in New York City? I'm smiling because I know we're all the same energy. I know we're all one. And every person on this crowded bus, and there are all kinds of people in all kinds of sizes and all kinds of shapes and all kinds of colors speaking all kinds of languages. And every single one of them is a divine because we're all one energy. The divine is one energy composed of everything and everyone that exists. So every single one of them on the bus at the time, including me, was a divine having human experiences. Now, it makes it real easy to find things to make you smile when you live in that kind of knowing that all is one, that we are all connected, that community is the goal of all of us because it's community that creates the peace, that creates the love and the joy. Love is the most powerful force in the world and love is the one and only power that creates change and love paired with joy. That's what makes the world work. So when you live in that truth and the oneness of it and the reality of it and stop telling yourself, me and you 
two separate people, when you stop that separation, your ego mind will disappear. Look at the people who you would define as greedy. They're living in their ego mind. It's all me, me, me. I'm going to make money and I don't care at whose expense. I don't care at whose expense because I want to make all the money I can make. It's that simple. And it's that easy to recognize. I'm very excited I was able to do this. Oh, I'm so excited. I had a voice nonstop. And I wish the whole song had come out. Because it was a pretty song. And it's been a long time since I've had a pretty voice. So I'm going to put out there that in the next week, the whole song will come out. Because right now I've got four or five pieces of songs. And I just... As my mind gets back to working, as the mess in my environment gets cleaned up, because the air filters for my system have been back ordered, and we're expecting them this week. So as all that cleans up, I'll be thinking clearly again. So I'll be able to get the whole song out because I know that's what's been stopping me. So thank you for joining me because I love to be here with you. Remember to join our Facebook group where you can take advantage of special offers, where you can make a new friend, where you can ask your questions, where you can come on and be friends with me because I would love to get to know you. I want to know who you are and where you're listening from and what you really want to hear discussed and you know what if you'd like to come be a guest on the show i'm always looking for people who are making new discoveries in their lives because the whole reason for this show you're awakening to the invisible forces that drive you in every moment and i have a very special offer for you this week I have just three openings available to take someone on. I don't like to use the word coaching because as you gathered, I don't sit around and talk back and forth with you. I talk to your spirit. I get accurate information immediately. And if you'd like to have a conversation with me about how to work with me to make those instant changes that go across your life, let me know so you can grab one of those only three spots. Just contact me. You can contact me in our Facebook group or on our website. There's a contact and just see all the links in the show notes. Remember to enjoy this capital I and capital J O Y every moment. Because you don't experience life outside of you. It all happens within that body that you're occupying, or rather the awareness of what's going on in your body. Blessings. I'll see you here next week.